lot to us. And so, um, anyway, uh, let me know when you're ready. Good, good afternoon and welcome on behalf of Bishop Stevenson and this great body of believers called the Red Sea Baptist Church, God's House of Deliverance. We welcome you to our 11.45 worship time. We count the joy that the Lord has sent you this morning to be with us. We pray right now that God has already begun to move because he invited you or he urged you to tune in this morning on this particular time that where you can join corporately with us to worship and give God all glory, all praise, and all honor. We have been worshiping the Lord this morning already, and we've heard the testimonies, and we found out that God is a faithful God oh, yeah. in all Hallelujah. ways and all Amen. things. In all ways, God is faithful. Amen. So we pray that you know him as such. So we are thanking you. We pray the Holy Spirit has already begun right now to bring us with one accord, one spirit, one Lord, one faith, one church, one God who is above all, in all, and he works through us all. Bishop is going to come and give us our last inspirational song. Immediately following that, uh, we are all going to stand to receive the man of God and sing our hymn of affirmation as we pray our, our, our hymn of affirmation, our trust in the Lord. We pray our hearts to receive the inspired word given by Bishop himself today. Would you pray with me, please? Father, we thank you right now, Lord, for being so faithful in all your ways, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your name is true and faithful, Lord. And so we uphold Bishop before you right now, Father, thanking you for the man of God he is, thanking you that he's our covering here, thanking you for him being the mouthpiece to us as a body of believers. We ask you to follow him right now, Father, and give him preaching power from the throne room of glory, God, wherever he may be leaning, prop him up on every side, God. Touch him, Father, let him look upon our faces and be dismayed, but let him preach the uncompromising gospel mm -hmm. today to the people of God. Then, Father, as you're touching Bishop, our prayer, Lord, is that, please, sir, don't leave us out. Touch us and give us teachable spirits and receptive hearts. Don't let it be church as usual today, but let it be church unusual, God. We want to have an experience with you today, God, that we have not had before, that where we're going to be changed, God, changed, God, that we may be more like you, Father, that it will take us and move us, God, to a place going closer to you. We thank and praise you in advance. Our prayers, Holy Spirit, speak, we hear, and we obey. Holy Spirit, please, please have your way. And it's in Jesus' holy and mighty name we do pray. And only those who agree said amen. 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 Give Bishop some love. Encourage your Bishop. Hallelujah. Come on, amen. Bishop. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'll kind of bring the last song for the day, too. So I'll, amen. I'll, I'll kind of I'll let you know when to stand, okay? This will be our last. Amen. Amen. We'll move right into our message. Hallelujah. First thing. Oh, how wonderful is thy name, mm -hmm. Jesus. Oh, how wonderful is thy name yes, yes. in all the earth. Say, oh, how wonderful is thy name, Jesus. Oh, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth, say, oh, 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 Wonderful is thy name, Jesus. Oh, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth. Say, oh, earth, say, oh, 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 singing, oh, 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 singing, oh. How wonderful is thy name, sweet Jesus. Oh, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth, say, oh. 
together in your house of worship to give you the honor and the glory that is due to you, a holy and a sovereign God. Father, I'm so grateful that you've yet given me another opportunity to stand behind your sacred desk to proclaim your uncompromising gospel to your people. So, Father, I pray now as I decrease that you would increase and that you would touch my mouth and give me preaching power from the throne room of glory. Now, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would touch the spiritual ears of your people that they may hear a rainbow word from heaven. Then, oh God, I pray that you would touch the spiritual eyes of your people, that we will continue to see the hand of God move in this oh place God, today. Spirit, Lord. Then, oh God, I pray that you would touch the hearts of your people, that we will all be receptive to whatever it is you're going to say in and through your Holy Spirit today. Yes, sir. So, Holy Spirit, come on, have your sir, way in this place. Your way. Heal us, deliver us, and set us free by your mighty power. This is our sincere prayer today. In Jesus' mighty name, we and pray. Let us all name. say amen. 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 Soldiers in the arm of the Lord, present on. This is my weapon. I am armed and dangerous. Look out, devil. The fight is on. Hallelujah. What fight are we fighting, Red Sea? The, the good fight of faith. faith. Amen. If you would, meet me in Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, and I'll let you have your seats. Hallelujah. Habakkuk. Hallelujah. Let's get over there right quickly. Habakkuk. Well, you can take your time. Habakkuk chapter 2. Hallelujah. Amen. Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk. Chapter 2. I'm going to read verses 1 through 4, and I will let you have your seats. Hallelujah. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Let me hear a hearty amen when we're all there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I hear some pages turning, so that means the bishop still needs to wait a little bit. Okay, I'm cool. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 1 to verse number 4. So I'll declare, I will stand up on my watch and set me up on the tower, mm -hmm. and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved or tested. Come on, sir. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain mm -hmm. upon tables that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. Though it tarry, wait, wait for, for it, it. Wait for because it. it will surely come. It will not Terry, mm -hmm. behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upon, I'm sorry, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by, by faith. faith. May the Lord have a blessing to the hear the reason and the doers of his word. You may be seated in the presence of our life changing King, the Lord Jesus Christ. Under the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit of Almighty God, I'd like to use for a title for us today, Prepare to Run in twenty. 21. All right. Prepare to run. Get ready to run. Fix your mind, set your heart, gear up, and prepare to run. Again, I tell you. Hallelujah. And so, God, this is one of the things that God had talked to me about for us when He first spoke to me, Sister Elaine, about what He had planned for us as a body of believers in 2021. That's right. He said, this is year of great expectation, not just expectation, Sister great. Catherine, but great expectation. Great. Yeah. On, then he sir. said this, Father Burnett, he said, listen, I have great expectations for you, but I'm expecting great things out of you as well. Right. Mm. He said, so the next thing, David, he said he wanted to tell us to prepare to run in 2021. That's Get right. ready to run. He said, this don't mean that you're in a hurry or you're in a rush. That's, That's right. not what the running is. And we're going to talk about it. 
It's not being in a hurry and it's not being in a rush. It's being diligent. It's being purposed. Okay. It's being focused. Anytime God speaks to you, God wants you to be ready. When God speaks, he wants you to respond. Yeah, yeah. He wants you to move out smartly, move out swiftly. So when Jesus chose his disciples, notice what the scripture says. It says they straightway went with Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. That's they right. straightway went with Jesus. Immediately, they stopped what they were doing. That's running, sister. Uh -huh. Immediately they stopped what they were doing and began to follow John. That's what they did immediately. Straight away, they took off and went behind him. They didn't hesitate. They didn't That's drag their right feet. There. They moved out smartly with a purpose. Jesus said, follow me and I will teach you how to be fisher of men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So everything John was purpose. They just wasn't moving behind Jesus just to move. They was moving with a purpose. Somebody said with a purpose. With a purpose. With a purpose. And so to prepare to run means I have purpose and to move with purpose. Hallelujah. To move like you have purpose. Amen. Hmm. And so if when we look at the text, I need you to pay close attention there to the text that we see here in Abaca chapter 2 because the first thing we see, Brother John, watch this, is I will. Mm -hmm. The first thing we see is I will. Oh, this is good to be man already. Oh, it's oh, good to be already. Because see, before I can prepare to run, I have to first have a will to run. Right. Right. I have to have a will to follow God. I have to want to follow God. That has to be my desire. My will. What is your will, David? It's your, it's your expectations of yourself. Your will is your, uh, 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 it's your, your wishes. It's your desires. Well, what is your desire? Well, it should be to follow Jesus. It should be to follow God because the scripture says this, that my sons and daughters are led by my spirit. That's right. Mm -hmm. And my sons and daughters don't do nothing outside of the realm of what I'm wanting them to do outside of my leadership. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I don't do anything without my father's permission, without my father's help, without my father's consent. Prepare to run in 2021. Prepare to move out smartly. Swift, not as in a hurry or in a rush. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But watch this here. I don't have time to fool around. Yes. I don't have time to fool around. Watch this. Because, John, I got other things to do. So I can't take a long time right here dealing with one thing because I got too many things to do. My running is not because I'm in a hurry or I'm in a rush. Mm -hmm. It's because I am purposed. I am purpose-driven, David. I'm not moving around like I'm trying to figure out what to do. No, no. God has already spoken to me, so I know what to do. Hallelujah. If I'm dragging my feet, it's because I'm trying to figure out what to do. When I know what to do, sister, I move out. Yeah. The first thing we see in the text is a I will. And so Paul tells the Corinthian church there must first be a willing mind. That's right. I have to be willing. And I have to make my mind up. Watch this, family. I have to make my mind up with God. I have to make my mind up. I have to, I have my mind have to be fixed and made up. So when God call upon me, guess what? I'm ready to go. Oh, I love this. When we was in the military, we had to pack stuff ahead of time. That's right. God, come, come help me somebody. Right. We had to pack stuff ahead of time. We had A, B, and C bags. That's right. That's right. And depending on what we were going to do when we got the call, so to depend on what bag we took. That's right. Come on here, somebody. That's I know right. God is He's with me right here, right now. And so we knew, we knew at any time they could call us and tell us we had to deploy and move out and go to war, Sister Christie. So we stay, oh, we stay ready. I need somebody in the room to stay ready. I need somebody in the room to stay ready. Yes. Come on, Bishop. Amen. I need you to act like you got somewhere to go. You need to act like there's something, some point God that got a plan for you. And why just he didn't already spoke to you and told you what it is already. Already. And so the whole time that we was in the military, you know the time the whole time we was in the military, we had to stay ready. We couldn't be getting ready, John. We had to stay ready at all times. And watch this here. And if you wasn't ready, they left you. But you paid a penalty for it when they got back. That's right. Oh, I need some help right here. I need some help right here. I need some help right here. Prepare to run in 2021. And so, David, when that alarm went off, when that alarm went off, they called that alert. We already knew what time it was. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting ready to help somebody. Yeah. We couldn't even take our time and do hygiene. No, you ain't brushing your teeth. You ain't, listen, no, you ain't no, showering. No, you should have no, did that no, last night. It's time no, to go. No, no, I, I can't get no help in the room, man, but I hope I got somebody out here. I can't get no real help in the room. We couldn't even shower. We had to get dressed and get out. You know what it remind me of, Reverend? It remind me of five men That's and right. women. Right. When the alarm go off, they ain't got time. They got to drop everything. And look at the good. It's one thing. They jump in the suit and pull it up and go about their business. Christian, you better hear what God said today. Amen. Speak, sir. That's right. Prepare to run. In 2021. In 2021. Yeah. You need to be listening to God and really paying attention to God right now. Because he said, I need you to be ready. Don't be getting ready. Be ready. Because at any time, at any time, I can tap you on your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to be ready. Amen. And say, let's go. So the first thing we find in the text is I will. Mm-hmm. Now watch this now. I will sh- listen to the text because it's going to make sense in a minute. It's going to make sense to in a minute, I promise you. I will stand up on my watch. Listen, John, when he say, I will stand up on my watch. You know what that means, David? Mm-hmm. That means I'm paying attention. I'm I'm paying attention. Jesus said to the disciples in the garden of Gethsemane, when he come back, Peter, he found them sleeping. He said, you mean to tell me you couldn't stay up? I told you to watch and pray. I told you to watch and pray. So you don't enter in to run. You don't know what to do? Ask God. God, what do I need to do to get ready, to be ready? What do I need to do? Well, first, let's see if you're willing. That's right. Let me show you what happens, sister, when God says, let me see if you're willing first. I'm going to wake you up in the middle of the night. Let me see if you're going to get up. See that? Yeah. I didn't say leave the house. I just want to see if you'll get up. Yeah. All right. And I want to see if you'll stay up. Oh, see, I can't get no help, man. Preaching, sir. See, right. let's see if you're willing first to run. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give you something simple. I'm going to give you a simple instruction. Let me see if you're going to follow this simple instruction. Mm-hmm. That's right. Get up. Yeah, that, yeah I, I, I touched your bladder to get you up. Uh-huh. All right. I didn't touch your bladder just so you to go to the bathroom. It was to get you up. Mm-hmm. Now that you're up, I need you to stay up because I got something I want to say. Mm-hmm. No, Lord, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go to bed. I got to go back to bed because I got to do this or I got to do that. You ain't prepared to run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ain't prepared to run. You ain't ready to run. You don't want to run. Sleep is more important to you. Who speaks, sir? Work is more important to you uh-huh. because see, I got to get sleep to go so I can get them go to work. Oh, I got to get some sleep so I can get up and do this. Okay, but you up now. You up, but you can't stay up with me for one hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all see how y'all just Talk left the room? On. Yeah. See how y'all just left the room on me just then? I did. No, you, you, you can't. You mean to tell me? I'm not asking you for all of your night. I'm just wanting an hour. Can I get? Oh, Lord. Let me get back to the text because I, I need to see it. says, I will stand up on my watch. I'm not concerned about yours. I'm going to stand up on my my watch. I got to pay attention to what's going on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will say it. You got to understand something. Even though God's eyes is going to and fro in this earth, and he's beholding the good and the evil, he's really looking at the good, though. He's really looking at his own people. And his eyes is going to and fro to make sure that his own people are squared away. His own people are safe, y'all. So the captain is really not about what the world is doing. It's what it's people. Because the prayer that Jesus prayed was, don't take them out of the world, just protect them from the evil in the world. Right. So God's eye is going to and fro, watching over you while you slumber and sleep at night to make sure that everything is with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I thank you, Lord. That's why it's not about the whole world, sister. It's about protecting his people. It's about watching these, these wolves in sheep clothing. Thank you, Lord. Or the enemy messing with you in your dreams. He says, so I will stand on my watch. Watch this now. As a, as a body, we have a responsibility, but as an individual, you have a responsibility. You have a watch of your own. Mm-hmm. You have to watch. Listen, Brother David, it's not you praying 365 days or uh, 24 hours a day. No, but do you have a mind to pray? Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. Can I call on you to pray at any time? I will stand up on my watch and I will set, watch this now, and I will set me up on a tower. In other words, I'm going to put myself in, I'm going to put myself in position. I'm going to put myself in position like Zacchaeus did. I'm going to put myself in, come on here somebody, I'm going to put myself in position to where nothing on this ground is going to hinder me from seeing or hearing God. Come on, sir. All right. Come on. I'm going to put myself in position. How do I do that? Be ye holy because I'm holy. That's right. 
I'm going to live right. I'm not going to let temptation pull me. Oh, man. All right. No, no. I'm not going to let temptation pull me because to be in my flesh is to be down. On, to be sir. in my flesh and to be in sin is to be down. Yeah. He, here's the tower. Here's me lifting myself up. I'm going to be holy. I'm going to live a holy and a righteous life the best of my ability. And what you can't do, God will move in with the Holy Ghost and do for you. Thank right. you, Lord. But I need a willing mind to be holy, though. That's right. I said I need a person willing mind to be holy, though. I need you to desire holiness. Amen. Listen to what it says. I'm going to set upon the tower. And I will watch. Y'all see that's the will again. And I will watch, sister. I will watch. Watch this now. Watch this now. Because when it's something I really want to see on television, I force myself to stay up and watch. Ah, come on, Ooh, Bishop. Y'all just, y'all, y'all come like on, Bishop. When it's something I want to do, I will force myself to stay up. Yes, I will. But I can't force myself. I just will go to sleep on God just like that. I won't just even like try that. to stay up. Ah. Peter and them didn't even try to stay up in the garden. They just went to sleep. They didn't even try to stay up. Come on, Bishop. But Jesus had already told them no what was going on, that he was getting ready to be crucified. They knew it, that he was getting ready to go through some stuff. He said, you mean to tell me you couldn't watch but with me one hour? You showing me you ain't ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You saying it with your mouth, but your heart ain't nowhere in it. Right. Listen, family, y'all still praying for me. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And I will watch to see what he will say to me. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. I will watch to see what God, I'm going to listen and pay attention to what he's going to say to me. Because watch, Reverend, we can't take our running and know nowhere to go. I'm gonna watch and pay attention because I wanna know John what he's gonna say to me, man. I wanna make I wanna let God know I'm interested in what you got. Matter of fact, I wanna hear what you got to say. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do everything necessary so I can hear you. Lord, I know you don't want to do this, but I guess I will. You know, we got Bluetooth and everything right now. We we <laughs> come on, Bishop. Y'all, wow. just pray for me. Oh, I'm trying to keep myself together right here, right Amen, now. Lord. Listen, family. You notice how it, how y'all want to hear so clearly? How you really want to hear the things that you really want to hear? Come you on. know the kind of money you go to spend on stuff to help you hear what you really oh, want. Ooh, that you really yes, want to hear though. Yes, sir. You know how expensive that stuff is that y'all got in y'all yes, ear right now? Okay, I'm not so not y'all, but they got in their ear right now. That's right. You know how much money John they spending on that stuff right That's now, man? Right. Yeah. To hear what they want to hear? Sir. God said, I just want to know what kind of sacrifice you willing to make to hear what I got to say to you now. Mm -hmm. That's a good yes, sir. Yeah. What are you willing to do to help, to help you to heighten your senses in the spirit so you can hear what I got to say to you? Because, see, you go out there and buy them big old TV so you can hear more and see more. You're spending all this money on these earphones and earbuds and all this stuff you so you can hear clearer. Thank you, Lord. But you let everything else muffle out the voice of God. Right. You let everything else cloud the voice of God in your life because it's not important. I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking. Thank you, Reverend. Listen, listen what it says. Listen to the text. Listen to the text. Come on. Listen to the text. Watch this now. Watch this now. He said, watch this. He said, set me up on the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say, watch this, to me. I'm not concerned about what he's going to say to everybody else, Father Burnett. i got to be concerned, first of all, about what God is going to say to me first. What he's going to say to me first, Timothy. Brother, Brother John, I promise you, man, this ain't being selfish, because, first of all, if you don't know what God is saying to you, why would you be concerned about what he's saying to somebody else when you don't even know what he's saying to you? What are you going to do with what he's saying to somebody else? Right. It's not for you, so why even matter? Right? I need to know what God is saying to me because what God says to me benefits me. Watch this. And yes. benefits you. Yes. Right. So I'm going to stand up on my watch. I'm going to put myself in a place to where I can hear what God is saying to me. I'm looking for God to say something to me. If he's telling me to prepare, he's going to prepare me. He's got to give me some instructions to help me prepare to run in 2021. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. What he will say to me and, 
and what, watch this, and what I shall answer when I am reproved or tested or approached. Because I have to respond back to God. When God says something to me, Sister Catherine, I got to be prepared to respond back to God. Ezekiel, can these bones live? And God was looking for a response. I like the one he gave him, sister. I really like the one he gave him. Lord, you know. You know. And so now, because you know, come on, share it with me, because I don't know. You don't know how to make it through the rest of this 2021. You don't know, but God know. God know. And you need to want to know from God. So when he approached me, listen, when he approached me, I need to be ready to answer God, to give God a response. Walking down the shores of Galilee, he see these men and he speak to them. He said, come on and follow me.